Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this week's English Khutbah. And the topic is sustaining our blessings and being moderate in their consumption. Alhamdulillah. All praises are due to Allah, who is the most generous, the most noble, and who has bestowed upon us abundant blessings for which we are obligated to be grateful. I testify that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, the uniquely one who has no partners in his oneness. And I testify that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the slave of Allah and his messenger. O oh Allah, send your peace and blessings upon him and upon his family, his companions, and whomsoever follows him in guidance until the last day, amma ba'd, to continue. I advise you, O slaves of Allah and myself, with the taqwa of Allah, for verily Allah says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مُحْسِنُونَ Indeed, Allah is with those who have taqwa of Him and those who do good. أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ O believers, indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has lavished upon us abundant bounty and in His generosity He has given us abundant and many blessings that we cannot enumerate. And so the resultant behavior when being given this number and this showering of blessings is that we be grateful. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَاشْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ And be grateful for the favor of Allah, if it is indeed Him that you worship. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us that one of the manifestations of this gratitude is that we not be excessive in our consumption and do not waste the blessings or resources he has given us. For he says, وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ And be not excessive, for indeed he likes not those who commit excess. So the state of excessiveness or extravagance uh, understood to be that which exceeds the limits of need. As somebody once said, the world has enough for everyone's need, but not everyone's greed. And so the state of someone who gives into their greed and wastes the blessings they have by using far more than they need and wasting that which effectively could have gone to someone else, this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And that is why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna allaha kariha. Lakum thalatha, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates three things for you. And from them, he said, Ida'atul mal, the wasting of wealth. So the role of wealth, which obviously includes money, but it's not exclusive to money because it includes any form of what we undertake to be or understand to be wealth. The wastage of that, i.e. by not using it for what it was intended for, which is to serve certain needs, to facilitate good. Those who do not use it for that purpose are ultimately people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes. Or hates. And that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Innama dunya li arba'ati nafarin. That this world, with all that we see around us, this world is ultimately only for four people. It serves its purpose with regards to four people only. And amongst them, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam delineated in this first category, in fact, the best of them, he said, was when he said, Abdin razaqullahu malan wa ilma, a slave who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides wealth and knowledge, fahuwa yattaqi fihi rabbahu. And he is a person of taqwa with regards to this wealth and knowledge that he's been given as regards to when it comes to its usage for the sake of his Lord. Wa yasilu fihi rahimah. And through it, he nurtures the ties of kinships. He fulfills the rights that people have in his family, broader extended family, and also ultimately those who are in his sphere of need. And he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, with regards to his wealth and his knowledge, a right. 
بِأَفْضَلِ الْمَنَازِلِ And so such a person is in the most virtuous rank from the people of this world. And so, brothers and sisters, we have to understand that everything we have been given has been given to us in a state of trust. There is no intrinsic state of saying, I deserve this on account of what? <laughs> we don't even deserve to exist except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us existence freely and without any deservingness on our part. And so what this entails is gratitude and gratitude entails a proper use of the thing that you've been given freely and undeservedly. And so from the aspects of the extravagance and waste that the Prophet sallallahu specifically uh, warned us against by which we are taken to account is food and water because these are the essentials of life. And so the, when we see people extravagantly creating these banquets and food, sometimes at weddings, and then half of the food is going to waste whilst we are aware that many of the Ummah of the Prophet وسلم, are suffering from malnutrition. And beyond that, there is a food crisis in the world. And if, if our hearts are not cognizant of this, and instead we are given to wasting our food, then this is not the way of the believer. And so the Prophet ﷺ said that we should give food in charity beyond what we need. And so that he said, Kulu ashrabu wa tasaddaqu. He said, eat, drink, and give charity. I give charity of that which you have from the food and the drink. And also in general, well, basu and wear nice clothes, but give that in charity too, if you do beyond what you need. Ma lam yu khalidhu israfan aw makhila. As long as this food, drink, wearing of nice clothes is not coupled with extravagance or fanciful indulgence, yes, you, this is fine. These are from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But anything beyond that, we should be thinking of the others in this world who don't have access to these things as readily as ourselves. And as for water, we do not need to go on about this. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it suffices us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ Allah has made from water every living thing. In other words, water is the very source of life itself. And just to refer reference this, the Prophet ﷺ emphasized the preservation of water even in acts of devotion, such as wudu. The Prophet ﷺ would demonstrate a wudu using a very small amount of water, and he would say, "Hakadha wudu." This is how you do wudu. فَمَنْ زَادَ عَلَى هَذَا فَقَدْ أَسَاءَ وَتَعَدَّ وَظَلَمْ And whomsoever does more than that or uses more water has done wrong, gone to extremes and oppressed, i.e. he's oppressed others that otherwise could benefit from this water. Similarly, this extends to things like electricity that is no less important in the sense that it, in the modern world it provides the uh, the the, it, the means for enabling our technology, our communication, the basis of industries, often the basis of purification for that, for our water. And so these are things to reflect upon. These are things that when we, especially when the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, one of his du'as would be, أَسْأَلُكَ الْقَصْدَ فِي الْفَقْرِ وَالْغِنَاءَ I ask you for moderation in wealth and poverty. Um, and the Prophet ﷺ said that moderation is praised and this is a means of drawing near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in three things. He said one of them is moderation in anger and acceptance. And from them he said, uh, moderation in wealth and poverty. So brothers and sisters, this is something to reflect upon in our times. And especially when we think these are essentials for human life and someone who denies or if people are denied access to these essentials, the access to water, food, and electricity, then this is a wrong. And so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to preserve it for ourselves and preserve it for the future generations and to be people of adil, to be people of justice, and to be people of qast, moderation in these things for the sake of humanity. وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيزِ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ I say this and I seek forgiveness for myself and for you. So seek his forgiveness for indeed he's the most forgiving and the most merciful. And with this comes to an end this week's khutbah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This khutbah was brought to you by Idhaatul Quran Abu Dhabi.